Teachers unions are not only bad for students and families, teachers unions also happen to be bad for individual teachers. Just think about it. Kennesaw State University Ben Scafferty did a report finding that between 1992 and 2014, per pupil education expenditures nationwide increased by 27% after adjusting for inflation. But teacher salaries, after adjusting for inflation, actually dropped by 2% over the same period. So when I hear teachers complaining about having to pay out of pocket for supplies and other materials, I do feel kind of bad for them. But the problem isn't with their competition, the private and charter schools. The problem is with their employer, which happens to be a massive geographic government-run monopoly that doesn't have any particularly strong incentives to put the resources towards the most important educational resource in the school, which happens to be the teachers in the classroom. Teachers unions have a different incentive. Their incentive is to put more people into the buildings. So in Ben Scafferty's report, he actually found huge in increases in administrative bloat and staffing surges, which is great for teachers union bosses because it means more dues paying members and a larger voting block, but it's not great for individual teachers that do a good job in the current system. And in fact, Five studies that I've seen on the topic find statistically significant positive effects of private and charter school competition on teacher salaries in the public school. So school choice can benefit families and teachers at the same time. It's a win-win situation. How long before we finally free families and teachers from the clutches of the teachers' unions once and for all?